We're home. Uh, it's Monday. We got some sleep. I want more sleep, though. We have to go get... Let me move you so you're, I can hold you more comfortably. There we go. We have to go get our car. So, it's kind of crazy. We dropped our car off at the airport because we thought we were flying home. We had originally been told we were driving Brad's new work truck down to uh, Sacramento and then flying home. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But after we got there, we found out, no, you are going to drive the new work vehicle all the way home. So we, we left the, our car at the airport in the long-term parking. So Brad's going to drive me over there. I'll get the car. And then on the way home, I'm going to stop and go grocery shopping. And then I'll make lunch. And then I'll probably take a nice long nap again. And then I'll make dinner. But the dinner I'm making is um, lasagna. And when I the lasagna I make, like everything's from scratch and stuff. Like even the sauce is made from scratch. It takes like two and a half hours to make it. So I want to get some rest first. But I have to tell you, one of the things I started to really miss being gone, which is silly, I missed cooking. I missed being in my kitchen and just putting food together, which is funny because I, when I'm at home, I tend to get kind of irritated quickly, like, I'm tired of cooking all the time. But then when, you, when you're out and you're eating fast food a lot and you just want your own kitchen and your own food, then you start, or I started missing cooking. So I'm looking forward to getting back in my kitchen and eating food that we want to eat. I'm so tired of fast food. And the good thing is I understand now how Brad feels when he comes home from his business trips. Cause he'll tell me I'm tired of eating fast food. That's all there is. And then he'll come home. And I think sometimes I'm not as sensitive to that as I could be. Um, I'll think, well, I don't feel like cooking. So, um, why don't we just get one of the fast foods that they didn't have where you were? And it's like, now I understand what he was saying. You know, we talked about that in the last vlog um, last night, how we we don't want soda. We don't want fries or any potatoes or, you know, like there's all these things that you suddenly don't want. And it doesn't matter what fast food place it is. So maybe this is kind of pushing me to stop eating so much fast food. You know, which is a good thing. When we came home last night, at first the cats were mad at us. Marty went and hid behind the washer, the washing machine. And Zelda was under the bed. And then she came out and she was yelling at us, but she didn't want to be touched or held or anything. And then within half an hour of being home, they both were like wanting love and attention and purring like crazy. And they've just been all over us this whole time. They're just so happy we're home. They don't act quite this needy when we're just gone overnight. So they definitely notice a difference between, you know, being gone a week as opposed to one night. But it's nice to be home. It's... Well, we had a great time. It is really nice to be home. <laughs> There's nothing like coming back home. And I have a huge, I mean huge, pile of laundry. It's funny, I don't like to leave with any dishes that aren't clean in my sink. Like, I want all the dishes done. Even if they're in the dishwasher, they have to be clean so I don't come home to dirty dishes. I hate coming home to dirty dishes. Brad's that way about laundry. So he did a bunch of laundry before we left, but I didn't have time to fold it. So we have this huge mound of clean laundry that I have to fold. I don't even know how many loads it is. And then now that we're home, he's doing laundry. He's cleaning all the clothes that we wore while we were gone. And I'll fold those too. So I think tonight, most of my night, aside from cooking, will be folding laundry. <laughs> That's okay, though. I'll just park my butt in front of the TV and fold away. I just got my car, and I'm 
excited to be driving it again. I actually like driving a lot, <laughs> so I've missed driving the last week because I can't drive Brad's work vehicles or if he gets a rental car, I can't drive that either. So it's nice to be driving again and honestly, I love my car. <laughs> like if somebody was like, hey, if you want, you could keep the payments the same and I'll switch out my BMW with you. It's like, no, I like this car. <laughs> I'm back from the grocery store. I wanted to show you the groceries that I got because I know you like that. And I also wanted to show you what we got at that gift shop in the last video. I told you I'd show you later, <laughs> so I'll show you now. Brad said that the whole time after he got back, um, Zelda sat on his lap. It's like she's just really missed us. <laughs> Poor little girl. All right, so you saw my new friend that Brad got me. And then... I can't normally talk Brad into getting new mugs. Hi, Marty. <laughs> okay. I don't let him up here when I'm cooking, but otherwise, this is his home too. Um, so, we got this mug for Brad. Darth Tater Spud Wars. Welcome to the Starch Side. <laughs> Idaho. Isn't that cute? <laughs> And don't worry, yes, I disinfect before I cook. Some people get so grossed out about cats on there. She figure there's germs everywhere anyway, so. And then I got some postcards. I'm a postcard person, so I like to do scrapbooks and everything. So here's a um, postcard with a huge rainbow trout. Apparently the rainbow trout is really big and... Idaho, Brad was reading about that, so I saw that and I thought that was cute. And then, is it Shoshone or Shoshone Falls? That's um, those falls that I showed you when we had stopped. And then the bridge that we crossed before I showed you was the Perrine Bridge. So that's pretty cool. And then I got a magnet that matches Brad's mug. And my favorite gifts are the gifts that people get when they see something and they think of me and they have to get it for me. So I decided to go ahead and get this for my sister-in-law. It's a ornament. It can also be used as a magnet. She loves Bigfoot. So I thought an Idaho Bigfoot would be cute for her. And that's all we got. We just got the Chobani drinks that we showed you. And that's it. Alright, let me get these over here where they won't be bothered. <laughs> Alright, so at Sprouts, what I get is a little bit different than what I get at other grocery stores. I don't know, just in case you don't live in the on the western half of the country, Sprouts is, it, it's, to me, I don't know, it's kind of like Whole Foods. It's like a lot of organic foods, natural foods, farmer's market kind of foods. Um... So I got some Sprouts brand orange sparkling water. We're tired of soda and like the sugariness of it after being on the road. Let's see. Got some dinner rolls for the lasagna. Need to go with it. You know how it is. You go to the grocery store hungry. You buy things you weren't planning on buying. I got... Uh, a cherry turnover and an apple turnover. I figured whoever wants what can get it or we can split them and each have half of one flavor, but those just look too good. All 
Got some eggs. These are Sprouts brand. Really, eggs always look nice. I got a double pack of raspberries. They were on sale for, I think it was $2.99. I thought, we well, can't beat that. And I'm making a big salad for lunch. I did get this for on the side with the salad. It's um, herb, herb seasoned rotisserie chicken. Did you hear that, Brad? So we can have this as a side with our salad, and then tomorrow we can have it probably on the salad, because obviously it'll have been in the fridge by then. I got some milk. I found my wheatgrass. Thank God. This stuff is wonderful. It's not the cheapest. I think it was like $26. If you take it every night, this is 40 days worth of wheatgrass. But if it makes you feel better... And more energetic and it speeds up your metabolism does it matter that it's a little on the pricey side i don't think it does how you feel is almost priceless um i got some soup i got rustic italian vegetable and chunky vegetable in case we want soup with our salad at some point during the week or just as a snack whatever um and then i got Red wine and olive oil vinaigrette for the salad, obviously. And the other thing that wasn't on my list that I got, I got our favorite mac and cheese, the Annie's brand. So good. We love it. Okay, and then the ingredients for the lasagna. I got lasagna noodles. I got two cans of um, tomato paste. It takes two cans of it. Got an onion. Already have garlic, so I didn't have to buy that. A pound of ground beef. And I like to put sage sausage in the um, lasagna. And it's usually half a pound that I put in there. I think this is a whole pound. Yeah, it is. So what I'll do with this is cut it in half, freeze half of it for the next time I make lasagna, and then use the other half. Oh, I'm sorry. I showed you the wrong one. This is the sage sausage. <laughs> they had them two for seven, so um, I got another one for one of those sausage meals I like to cook. Um, I got Parmesan cheese, obviously for the lasagna. Cottage cheese for the lasagna. And the most important ingredient, crushed basil tomatoes. Without this, honestly, I think this and the sage sausage make this recipe taste as good as it does. Oh, and I also got this month's ear fleek that I get. I don't know if you've heard of it. I don't have like a, I can, I can put the link down below, but I don't, I don't get like paid if you use it or anything like that. It's like $3.75 a month and they send you earrings. So these are the ones they sent me this month and they're wood. I really like them. Otherwise, I just got a few Christmas cards in the mail and I will probably in a couple days, I will do the friend mail video where I show all the Christmas cards and everything. Just want to make sure everything's here before I do the video. <laughs> Look at this. This bubbly, overflowing, gooey, cheesy, meaty slab of goodness. <sighs> Happy New Year, everybody. I'm excited. It's out with the old and with the new, right? <laughs> We're going to have the best night ever. We're going to celebrate at home in our pajamas. As you see, I already got mine on. We are going, we just had pizza delivered and we're going to watch a movie that we rented and I'm excited. I've been thinking a lot about what I have learned in 2020 and I guess the biggest thing that I have learned is that 
I just have to go with the flow. I have to be more patient and I have to have a lot less expectations. And I was just curious, what did you learn in 2020? Let me know. Happy New Year. Good morning. It is January 1st, Saturday. It's a new year. Not a new me, though. <laughs> Still me. I'll always be me. Although Brad and I have been joking around about changing our names to something different and claiming to be completely new people this year. <laughs> Anyway, um, it's been a wonderful morning. We, well, I guess I should backtrack. Last night, we did nothing. Uh, we watched a couple movies, which were both really good. Um, oh, shoot. Do you remember the name of the first movie we watched, Jenny? Uh, okay, Brad's going to look it up. And then... <laughs> That was really good. And then we watched a movie called The Hunt, which was also really good. Then I watched a movie by myself. I can't remember the name of it either. <laughs> I'll put it up here. It had Ethan Hawke in it. He did a really good job in it. And I liked that one too. It was a good movie night. Um, and then we kissed at midnight and we went to bed. And we slept in till 1030 this morning, which we never do. So that was really nice to just sleep in and get a bunch of sleep. Sorry about the mess behind me. Unhinged. Unhinged. That was the movie that we watched. Yeah, with Russell Crowe. That was good, too. I don't know. It was a good night. And uh, so as you see, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm going to stay in them all day long. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to do dishes, fold laundry, try to get some cleaning done. Um also, I'm going to be doing a um, video about the books that I read in the month of December, which I do book videos every Sunday. And I'm trying to finish the book that um, I started a couple days ago. To me, it's when I start the book that that's the month I read it in. So I'm trying to hurry up and finish it today so I can film the video tomorrow and post it on Sunday. Um, but this book is really good. I'm reading The Marriage Pact by Michelle Richmond. And uh, I have to say, it's very intriguing. And I, I'm having a hard time putting it down. I'm also drinking some coffee. We've got um, our patio door open, so there's fresh air streaming in. Um, I will probably light some candles soon. I don't know, it's just a nice, relaxing morning. Oh, and we have... We're having Denny's for brunch. Um, we're having it delivered. We're not actually leaving. But we discovered if we have Denny's delivered, as opposed to eating it at the restaurant, not only do we not have to worry about everything, but it's only $5 more. So... Why not just have it delivered, right? <laughs> um, because here in Vegas or in Nevada, if we want to go to a restaurant, um, I know every state's different right now. So just to let you know, we're at 25% capacity and you have to make a reservation everywhere. And I'm not a reservation kind of girl. And I don't really feel like going anywhere. I want to just read and clean and relax all day. Anyway. But yeah, so it's been a really good weekend. I will check in with you again, maybe later this afternoon, or if not, probably tomorrow, and uh, let you know how the rest of the weekend's going. Our first first week home from our big trip. <laughs> okay, Marty, are you going to tell me what did you learn in 2020? How to enjoy cuddling more? Yeah. What else did you learn? Hmm? <laughs> My baby. <laughs> what else did you learn? Hmm? Anything worth mentioning? 
Did you just kick your foot up? That was so cute. Why'd you put it back down? Okay, you're going to take a bath? That's kind of rude, right in the middle of a discussion. You're just going to take a bath? <laughs> okay. So cleanliness is godliness. That's what you learned in 2020? Okay. So I'm sitting here reflecting with Marty about what was learned in 2020. He's so cute. I can't get over it. Do you see this face? <laughs> He's looking at me just so intently, so fascinated with what I'm saying. Um, so what did I do today? Oh, I read a lot. A lot. Um, and then... What did I do after that? Oh, we watched... The newest Chucky movie. Brad hadn't seen it. And I wanted to show him how good I think it is. And uh, sorry about the lighting. I don't look very good, do I? Can, or who cares how I look? But I mean, can you see me? Okay, I hope. Hi, Marty. Oh, he's offended that I'm talking to you and not him now. <laughs> okay, would you want me to turn the camera so that you're included? We need to take down these Christmas decorations this week, Martin. Anyway, so we watched the movie. I edited Saturday's video. And then I spent over an hour folding clothes. And I still have more to fold. Lots of clothes. Lots and lots of clothes to fold. And I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of some of my clothes. Sorry, you see there's even clothes draped on the back of the couch. I'm thinking about getting rid of some of the clothes that um, even when there aren't a bunch of lockdowns and stuff going on, maybe I hadn't been wearing. Um, since I am kind of changing my clothing, my wardrobe to more of a cozy casual. Uh, excuse me. But I was thinking about 2020 and I was just thinking about what I learned and I'm curious what you learned because I think while it was a really bad year for most people, it's not as bad if you feel like you learned something or if you can think about the good things from it. And so I was thinking about what I learned and what good things came from it and what kind of blessings there were. <laughs> And, um, I think, well, the big thing that I learned is that, uh, it's really important to just be more laid back, to not have such high expectations of things and to just kind of go with the flow, um, which in turn increases my patience as well, which is probably my biggest flaw, my impatience. Um, and I will admit <laughs> This is going to sound crazy, okay? But the truth is 2020 was not the worst year of my life. And if you've ever had a year where you really lost everything before 2020, it was like those of us that have had those years in our lives before, it's like we already knew how to deal with it. So when 2020 hit, it was out of our control, but we kind of figured it out quickly or something. I don't know if that makes sense, but. So, I don't know. I'm not saying um, that it wasn't a difficult year, but I guess just because I've had a year like that before, um, it wasn't so bad, I guess, for me. I mean, I've been through two divorces and... <laughs> been through a lot so it was just kind of you know I, I've had better years but I've had worse years um so I'd like to know what you learned um and then as far as blessings go um I feel like I have made so many friends on YouTube um so that in and of itself is a blessing whether 
you have a page also or you don't, I feel like I've really got a good bond with some of you. And let's see, my nephew was born, which that's a big blessing. Um, and it's funny, I feel like I've got a little bit closer with some of my family also. Um, so that's been nice. The, the friendships, the family, things slowing down a little bit was kind of a blessing for me. I think considering myself to be a little bit more of an introvert, um, it kind of feels like the world understands people like me a little bit better now, if that makes any sense. Um, which I know is really selfish to feel that way, but I just always felt like really judged about wanting to stay home or wanting to slow down. I don't feel very judged anymore about it. In the beginning of the year, I was so upset and kind of depressed about what was going on that I stopped reading as much. I was reading, but very slowly. And as the year progressed, I started to really kind of get back into being able to read and being able to read more books and kind of, I don't know, it's weird with reading. It's like I'm constantly just falling in love with reading all over again, which is exciting. I also feel like my creative juices have been flowing again lately, which, um, I don't know, for me, creatively speaking, I have ebbs and flows and it's nice to feel like I'm having a lot of creative thoughts right now. And that's always fun. Also, um, I think 2020, I guess it's one of those things that your relationship with your significant other is either going to get better or worse after a year's like 2020. You either realize that you're with the wrong person or you're with the, the right person. I feel like it's, these are the kind of years where everybody that has those kind of years, which we all had one at the same time, which was kind of nice. It was kind of uniting, right? We all went through the same, similar things this year. Um, but when years like this that are testing, it's important to figure out that which serves us and that which doesn't. And, and, you know, kind of like going through your closet and getting rid of that, which no longer suits you or that, which you don't really care for, or just, you don't want in your wardrobe anymore. I feel like life is like that too. And so for me, um, I feel like my marriage got even stronger and, um, we had so many wonderful talks and our communication I always thought was good, but it's even better now. Um, and we've just really got good at relying on each other, thinking about the future, trying to communicate different angles of how we could approach things in life. And it's been, it's been very nice. It's nice to communicate really well with, with someone and to be able to talk things out and Maybe that was why we got through it the way we did was we had someone to talk to, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so tell me what you learned. Tell me what your blessings were. Oh, and one other blessing I have to point out. My love of cooking has returned. Like I've always liked cooking, but I used to be someone who, constantly would tell Brad, well, I don't feel like cooking tonight. So we'd go out to dinner. We don't do that anymore. Um, then for a while it was, well, we'll just get fast food. We're not doing that anymore either. So it's kind of nice to just cook again, thinking, think about how to nourish our bodies and, and have good food as opposed to just throwing crap at our bodies, you know? Okay. I think I'm done now. Those are all my blessings. <laughs> but let me know what yours were.